Hey guys, it's Sonmika here and I just wanted to show you a redstone thing that I made doing something different today. Um, I'm not good at redstone but I had a great idea and I thought that I would just make a video of it. So this is my favorite method of vertical travel. It's um, a drop shaft and a water ladder. So to go down, you go down the drop shaft, there's a water source at the bottom and to go up you use the water ladder which has source blocks every second every second block now the problem with this method of vertical travel or like elevator is that you need two shafts one to go down one to go up well you can go down this way but it is too slow with the with 1.3 the dispensers have have gained a new feature in that they can absorb and dispense water so um, and li other liquids so if I put a dispenser there bucket um, torch it will dispense now there's an empty bucket in there it will absorb so um, using that, I, I thought of a good idea. This is my new and improved water ladder toggleable drop shaft thing. So um, right now it is a water ladder. You go up to the top as you would normally. And then when you're at the top, press the button, water disappears and it becomes a drop shaft. And it is really easy to make, I mean, We'll start out with our shaft. Um, I'll mark out places for the water. One, two, three, four. Um, this will be our drop shaft, so you want to leave that as um, a regular block. And then, oops, there's. This is where we'll put our dispensers. Two, three, four. Okay, and I'm just going to use glass so you can see what is happening. Excuse the pressing of the button sound. Jump. So that I know, well, that's where you come out at the bottom. <laughs> okay. And then I'll put the water in. I love the survival inventory, by the way. Okay. Every second. Oops. Now, to power the dispensers, you want to power the block between two of them here, like that. Oh, of course. So, <laughs> first you put buckets. Uh, bucket. All right, and as I was saying before, to power the dispenser, you want to press the, you want to power this middle, this middle block here. In, out, in, out. Same here. And out. Okay. So, how I do that is just placing every second block, starting with the bottom dispenser. Um, every se every second dispenser, starting with the bottom dispenser, a couple of blocks like that. Then we use glowstone, glowstone or half slab, half top slabs. Um, just something that won't allow the wiring to travel downwards. Um, I like glowstone because it's pretty. <laughs> 
and I have unlimited supply of it in creative. And then we will power this. Power. We will attach it to the water to the elevator. Um, I'm just gonna use redstone um, delay here just so that you can see what's happening but that's not necessary of course and um, then you put a dispenser into the block um, if you're using more than if you're using more than this height you will probably have to extend the um, the glowstone tower out a little bit just so that you have enough power so and then you put the button here press the button and they all go in press the button again and they all come out climb the ladder and um, we'll wire it from the top so just just add the button here and then we'll place the blocks like this so it's every second block and then it's out like that I don't know how to describe it okay and then you place redstone torches facing inwards this is um this is a way for the redstone charge to travel downwards and you place a redstone dust on top of each um, block and then you connect it so now you go up I can press the button here and it will disappear I can go down press the button and it will come out and I can go up and that is pretty much it thanks for watching